Hi, I'm Susan. And I'm Amanda. And this is Good, Good Morning, Morning Goodman. Goodman. How are you doing this fine morning? Uh, Monday, my favorite day of the week. <laughs> always, always. Just because yes. we have the whole week ahead of us. And because I get to spend it with you, Susan. I know. Yes. Isn't it just the best part of the whole week? It is the best part of the great <laughs> week. And if you have the opportunity, I also recommend starting your day with Susan. It- <laughs> There you go. I yes. Know. And it, how you can do that is by listening to our show weekly. Every morning. Every, every Monday, Monday morning. Every Monday morning. Yep. Yeah. So it is the week of November 21st. Mm-hmm. We've got a lot of things happening. Mm-hmm. Let's get at it. Uh, indeed. So, uh, of course, we want to give a fantastic warm welcome and shout out to Marty Philp, who was yes. our lovely, distinguished graduate last week. Yep. Um, wonderful event who got to yeah. share with faculty and staff and students and, and re- and his friends and family exactly. were here. Exactly. Yeah. And just a great way to acknowledge yeah. a fantastic individual who has been so helpful and Absolutely. so valuable to Goodman. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So thanks, Marty. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and we want to congratulate our MBA student. Uh, I hope, I'm hoping I'm going to pronounce this correctly. Mm-hmm. Shanju Feng. Feng. Um, she won the 3M Canada case at the DeGroote MBA case competition. Congratulations. That's a wonderful accomplishment. Good it for is. you. Good Very for you. Very difficult competition, too. Yep. Um, so lots of competitions going on in the month of November, and we want to definitely recognize all of our fantastic students who are bringing home prizes. Mm-hmm. So uh, students have just returned from the live competition, and that was hosted by U of T. And with that, we have fantastic news to share, and I will read some of these here. <laughs> so the team was made up of uh, Demi uh, Xie and Pauline Shuo and Vincent Lau and Justin Ho and Elizabeth Davidson. Uh, and they placed f- fifth overall in the competition. And then a secondary team made up of uh, Alexa Pong, uh, Vic Narula, Ruhi Beg, and Max uh, Muria and Besma Nagib. Uh, they won a fantastic $500 prize wow. to be used um, that weekend in Toronto. You should get a $500 prize just for having to read all of those names, and you did such a great job. I apologize. Yeah. I didn't have them memorized, but I did yeah. look down and cheat. <laughs> um, and other than that, um, the SAA president, uh, Arusa Matani, also won the Campus Brand Manager Award uh, for that competition as well. So well, congratulations to all of our brilliant students. Yeah, and you can see it's starting to be competition season, mm-hmm. and you're going to hear more and more of these wonderful congratulations because Definitely. our students do so well out there. They do. And we're so proud of them. Definitely. Yeah. Um, This year's Terry O'Malley Lecture is presented by Andrew Baylor. He's the CEO of a marketing and communications agency called The And Partnership. But the lecture will look at the evolution of advertising, and it takes place tomorrow. That's November 22nd at 7.30 in the Sean O'Sullivan Theatre. Um, and you can get tickets. They're available. Um, you can email events at brocku.ca. The Terry O'Malley lectures are very interesting. Mm. They always bring in fantastic speakers. I do. And it's usually packed, a full mm-hmm. sold-out house. Yeah, and yeah. You yeah. have to definitely get your tickets early for this yeah. event if you want to take place. Yeah, I think it, uh, the evolution of advertising would be really a fascinating topic. Mm-hmm. So if you're at all interested in that, check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely. And for those who are looking for more ways to volunteer, either with the ASA or with BFIC, um, please stop by Career Zone as mm-hmm. they are hiring for second term, so from January to the end of April, mm-hmm. and lots of opportunities to get involved. Yes, and we always suggest that you get involved in whatever way you can. Exactly. And these, these opportunities really are uh, the fantastic ways to build up your resume. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Um, our friends at CPA Ontario, and we love CPA Ontario as well, um, there we are going to be getting a new rep. Yes. A new representative. Is, her name is Ashley Rotliff, and um, she's replacing Mallory Rellinger. Many of you may know Mallory because she uh, spends a lot of time here. So um, we congratulate Mel- Mallory. She's moved on to a new opportunity as manager of student recruitment at CPA Ontario. So she's still with them, but moved on to another role. And Ashley Rotliff will be... Um, will be replacing her so we welcome Ashley and she will be holding an info session and office hours on campus next Monday that's November 28th and you can register for that on Career Zone. Definitely. Yep always again if you're interested in accounting come and see Ashley. Definitely. Yep. Um, and once again if you are interested in accounting another <laughs> opportunity is Ace the Case and that's hosted by KPMG and the competition is open to first, second and third year students. And so if you're interested, there is going to be an information session being held in Sankey tomorrow, which is also November 22nd, Mm -hmm. a very busy day, at 9.30 a.m. And for that info session, we do ask that you register on CareerZone. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
as always, Career Zone. Yay. And our second in our new segment of Alumni Shoutout. Yes, yay! Yay! Alumni shoutouts. <laughs> so this week we're going to have a shout out to Maria Yurikova. Uh-huh. So hi, Maria. We hope you're listening or watching. Uh-huh. And uh, if you don't know Maria, she's one of our MBA graduates. And she chaired our um, the committee for our, our last alumni event, which was the Breaking the Glass Ceiling event. Uh, it was a conversation with women who are leading the way. It was a tremendously successful event in Toronto. And we want to thank you, Maria, for all your hard work on that. And um, just wanted to say hi to Maria. Yes, so if you're an alumni, this is another reason to listen. Because yeah, you never know when we are going yes, to Yes, we the may random just shout randomly out. Shout, you, shout out to you. That's so, right. yeah. <laughs> Um, And I have a whole bunch of fun reminders for individuals if you would like to take part in events coming up on campus. So as we said, November 22nd is the epicenter of Mm -hmm. all events. Um, (laughs) And so we also have PepsiCo happening tomorrow. And if you want to come and cheer on your fellow students and colleagues Mm -hmm. um, and definitely get some free snacks. snacks. Definitely come to uh, Busu and And we're serious about the snacks. We are serious about the snacks. (laughs) It's a definite reason to attend all of these. And also, of course, to support your fellow students. Absolutely. So it starts at 9.30 a.m. So it's just in the main area of Isaac. So Mm -hmm. stop by and you could just drop in casually for as long as you want to watch. It's a it's a fun thing to to watch. It is. It's really neat to see the to see their presentations mm-hmm. and to hear the feedback from the PepsiCo people. And because it's an actual live product yeah. that's coming to market, it's always really yeah. interesting to get a insider's yeah. scoop and view of what's coming to shelves near you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what I'll be eating. Yeah. <laughs> um, and other than that, if you are looking for ways to be involved, if you're an entrepreneur, please stop by BrockU.ca for a bio link because uh, they do have a series of events that are coming up on their right. website. And otherwise, if you're looking for that professional headshot, we do have them available on Thursdays from 3 to 5 in Cairns this week. Mm -hmm. So remember, wear your suit to school, uh, bring your professional attire, and get that free headshot done by the BSA. Yep. Fantastic. And time for construction update. Always. (laughs) This will be an ongoing segment here on Good Morning Goodman. For the next two years. For the next two years. Um, So this week, uh, the the construction crews have, you may have noticed it, they've started demolishing the main stairwell, Mm -hmm. and which that will make room for the addition uh, that they're building onto that side of Tarot Hall. That will include, I believe, more classrooms and other fun stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the elevators will remain closed, though, until further notice. So we are sorry about that, but there's not much we can do. It is a safety um, issue. So, But you always have that alternative access to the, all the floors in Tarot through the west stairwell, and that's closest to the Shimon Tower. And we thank you always for your patience on this, and we say every week, mm-hmm. it's a short-term pain for long-term gain. It's going to be fantastic exactly. when it's done. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Great. That's it. That's all I think I have. You That's don't have anything have. else? It sounds like a busy week. It is a busy week, yeah. Yes. Lots to take part in. Yeah, but but a good week, Definitely. and we hope you all have a great week. Yes. And, uh, yeah, take care. Until good next time. Monday. Yep, bye-bye. Bye.